why do we have to come to Earth to be able to go through the process? Can't you do it by um, the best, The best uh, thing I can explain to you is when, remember when the soul is right initially created, it has no memories, it has no consciousness of self, it has no individualization, it's not conscious of who it is. And so right at that time, it's incarnated, right, onto Earth. Now, you can think of the incarnation like this. How many of you have tried to talk to a two-year-old child about sex? <laughs> Not many of you have tried. <laughs> why is that? Because? It's a waste of time, why? Because, because they don't really under they're not yet ready to understand it yet, are they? What makes them ready is what? They grow a bit more, they have a bit more experience, a bit more memories, a bit more life experience, and they, and they start getting to, what, five or six. Now how many of you have talked to a five or six-year-old about sex? Mm -hmm. What kind of discussion do you have with a five or six-year-old about sex? Superficial. Very superficial, with all to do with a bit of the mechanics, right? And when they hear about you doing it, they think, ooh, yuck, right? <laughs> and that's the last they think of it, perhaps, and they start to have some sexual damage by then, right? Now, you get to about, like, 12, 13. Now, what kind of conversation do you have about sex? Well, they may know it all and you don't know <laughs> Yeah, well, it's rather teenage years, that's the way it is, isn't it? And the conversation is more about, is it desire, desire sexual hormones. desire, hormones, and all those kind of conversations you have. But, but do they really know about love yet? No. No, they don't know about sexual love yet, really, do they? So when do they know about that? Well, some would argue that they never know this life. <laughs> but by the time they get into their late teens, early twenties, now what are they starting to feel? They're starting to feel the relationship part of the sex. Do you see what I'm saying? So what had to happen was that they had to first be presented with this bit of information, then this bit of information, and then this bit of information, and then this bit of information. And slowly this information grew until the point where they now know this about but how many of you know and practice tantric sex? Right. So, so there's all these other information that you're not yet knowing. Even though, even though we're adults, we're still not knowing it for many of us, right? So what's going on? What's going on is we get things given to us when we are ready to receive them. And so what God does with free will choice is exactly the same as that. So what he's done is he's created this place called the physical universe where you can learn lots and lots of different things. You could call it kindergarten, if you want. This is our kindergarten of life. <laughs> then he created seven spheres, or, and it's not appropriate to say he created it because I'll talk about that later, but there are seven spheres that he created which he could call the adolescence part of life. And then there are another 20 something spheres, which you could call the early 20s. <laughs> and who knows what's beyond that? I don't know. But I'm guaranteed there is more beyond that, because God's an infinite God. Right? Now, how can I even, even cope emotionally with the emotions of what I would be experiencing in the 22nd sphere if I don't expand? So can you see that God has created a system that allows you to expand using your free will. In other words, you will expand as rapidly as you desire. And that's God's gift to you. And you will stay stagnant as long as you want. That's God's gift to you too. Desire and capability? No, no, he's given the capability, the beauty of God, or what God has done. Even though everyone has different personality, he's given them the same capability at the soul level to grow to the, to the highest possible state now known, which is the 22nd sphere, he, he give, has given everyone the same capacity to do that. Yeah, but does capability come with stages? Like, you can't move on until you're ready and therefore capable? Uh, it's not until you're ready, it's until you choose to be ready. Does that make sense? Like, anything that's holding us back usually is fear-based, and anything that's holding us back is a choice to not deal with the underlying emotion of that fear. So we become ready by our own choice, even. Yeah. And that's a very important thing to realise, too. Yeah. 